it's time to dish with D. That's me. Yeah, I'm going re getting ready for work. But I'm making my breakfast, and I thought I'd film it because you guys would probably want to see it anyway, because you always ask for stuff like this. So let's get started on eggnog pancake muffin bites. Mini muffins. You knew I was going to do that. That's basically why I made this base, is for, to make stuff with it. Really not to drink it. Yes. Tomorrow's going to be eggnog stuffed French toast. So keep your eye on that. Eye out for that. So let's get started on our eggnog mini pancake muffins. A oh, mouthful. Okay, in our bowl, I have a third cup of the Kodiak. What's it called? Whole wheat oat and honey. I told, I'm not awake yet. This is a work day, I'm up early. So we have a third a cup of that for three smart points. I also did a little bit of baking powder and a dash of salt. I just always do that. That's just my, my thing when I do this. You don't really have to if you don't want to. A third cup of my base of eggnog that I made. If, I, if you don't know what that is, I will link in the, where's my red spatula? Hold on, I think I have my red spatula. I will link it in the cards above, or if I remember to look at the bottom, I probably won't remember that, but I'll remember just the, the base. I'll have to link this base in all my recipes because, I mean, you could use almond nog, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you have almond nog, use that. This amount of my nog is zero points because the whole thing was two points, which I thought was a bit crazy. I just added one egg and that is the base for our pancakes. Let's give it a zhuzh. Ooh, I'm a hot mess this morning. I'm trying to rush. I don't usually film on work days because I have to go to work. Work's priority on work days. At least on the mornings of work days. I do film on the afternoons of work days. All right. Let's get that all incorporated. All right, that looks really good. Put up here, solve my, solve my blender out because I'm probably gonna make more of this base. All right, here's my mini muffin pan and my liners, which I did have in my hand two seconds ago. See, where'd you put your muffin liners? Yeah, see, it's morning time. I'm not fully awake. I shouldn't be filming when I'm not fully awake. I don't know where to do with my pan. Let me go find my pan. Yeah, there's the liners I couldn't find. I had the pan. It's that kind of morning, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do this before work. I don't, this is why I don't film before work because I'm not awake. And I'm down one, which is the other one. There they are. All right, I'm gonna grab my tablespoon. Now we know why you don't film before work, Dave. Yeah. All right, I like to give them a spray. It doesn't hurt. My oven is preheating at 400 to be ready for me. Let's grab this out. Toss this in the sink. All right. Uh, this is thicker than most of my pancake batter, so I'm not sure how many muffins we're gonna get because it's just a little thicker. We might not get all 12. But we'll see. Try to fill them as evenly as we can. Like I did say, my, my little toaster oven's preheated. And yes, it's on bake and not broil. How many times I do that? It's way too many times to count. It's just, mornings are not, I am not a morning person. Not even a little bit. I am a night, I'm a night owl. Always have been. Even now that I'm, I try to go to bed a little earlier, I'm still really, more functioning better at night. Yeah, this is probably only going to get 11. Right, we're just going to use this and just top some of these off. It's easier, I think, in the long run. Fill the rest of these up. So you got 11 instead of 12. It's because it's thicker, which is fine. Here's my spatula. Oh, I'm making a mess this morning. Let's pour this in here. Sorry, it's at a bad angle. Next one here. Alrighty. 
All right, so we have 11 of our muffins. I took the other one out. Now, just to run home the eggnog, I'm gonna put a little, I'm using buttery cinnamon roll from Flavor God. You could just use cinnamon, it'd be fine. I just happened to have this, so I thought I'd, you know, why not I'd use it? Maybe Flavor God come out with an eggnog. All right, and of course, a little bit of nutmeg, because I know it's not my favorite, and you know it's not my favorite, but I know that is the flavor of eggnog. So we will just put, just a little dusting of the fresh eggnog. That's it. All right, that is it. I'm going to bake these. I should have put vanilla extract in, but you know, it's in, it's in the milk. We're fine. You could add vanilla if you wanted in there, but I thought about it and forgot, actually. Um, we'll put these in the oven and bake them for the, the toaster oven and bake them for 10 minutes. That's all they usually need at 400 degrees and we will come back and we will pop them out and we will enjoy them because I have to go to work. All right, just pull these out of the oven. They are piping hot, but they smell really delicious. If you've never made these, you really, in any form, you really should. They're quite fun and they're quite yummy. And this is a different way to have pancakes. You know, I was going to go have waffles this morning. See how that popped right out? Look at that. It's perfect. All the, the, Muffin is in the muffin and not in the liner. And you reuse these. They're just my favorite thing in the whole world. I have them for the regular and I have them for the mini. So we're gonna pop these out. Yeah, like I said, these are right out of the oven because I gotta eat, I gotta go to work. I have no time to sit around. I have to get done. What? Right, you don't need to see me. You don't need to, well, maybe you don't see me. Say, did you really do all those days? Now, again, you could put on these what you want. You want to glaze them, glaze them. You want to run them in some monk fruit and cinnamon, go ahead. These are your muffins, your little pancakes. I'm going to opt for syrup this morning. And I just feel like syrup. That's what I feel like. That's what I'm going to have. What a fun way to have, you know, I, I do these in all sorts of flavors. Again, this base mix now, sometimes I use the Trader Joe's. I, I don't know where my Trader Joe's is. I think I have to go down and open a new box. So it's a very base recipe. Look, I still have my blender out. I gotta make more eggnog today. That's why that's still there. So there you go. You have 11 adorable little pancake muffins. Let's spread them out so we can fit them in a circle. Look at that. I mean, come on. Let me go grab some syrup. There you go, with your two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. This is three smart points at its finest. If you're on green, you have to count the egg, but I would suggest using egg whites, so you don't. That's how I would roll. So let's have a taste, because you know we don't know if these are gonna be any good, do we? Dunk it in the syrup, because you don't pay for that. Yum. It's a light eggnog, it's not heavy. It's just enough in my book. Thumbs up. Just a different way to have pancakes. Changing the flavors is always a good idea. It gives you variety. Make sure like you're eating something different. Like I'm having pancakes again, you know? Changing the what you add in there, s s extracts, seasonings, make the difference. So don't play with your food. I say this all the time. Don't mean the same thing every day because you'll get tired. You'll get bored. And bored people, yeah, make bad choices. <laughs> so I like to opt out for fun things. And these pancake muffins are super duper fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. As you know, I am the pancake muffin queen. I dub myself the pancake muffin queen because I have these at least once, maybe twice a week. Hope you enjoyed this. If you do, give them a thumbs up and let me know if you think you're going to try these in the description box below. I've had people in the comment section below. Ugh. I've had people eat these for dessert because they're three smart points. Yes, please. Have a great day. We will dish another day. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think somebody needs these pancake muffins in their life, you know what to do. There's a share button down there, share the link. Say, hey, check out these pancake muffins. We could eat pancakes.
on WW. Heck yes. Bye-bye, folks.